Hey, Vic, uh, two injury things. Do you have any update on the seriousness of uh, Philip and Bryce? I do not. Uh, Bryce's foot start bothering him, and uh, Philip tweaked his knee a little bit. That's all I know at this point. Gotcha. Um, last 24 hours, how, how surprising, how disappointing was it the league's decision on your quarterbacks? Well, I was disappointed um, on a couple levels in that that our quarterbacks put us in this position, that it put, our quarterbacks put the league in that position. You know, there's, there, we count on them to be the leaders of the team and, you know, leaders of the offense. And uh, those guys made a mistake, and that, that is disappointing. You know, obviously I haven't done a good enough job of um, selling the protocols to them, you know, when they're on their own. So, you know, part of that could fall on me there. I, I thought I was. We have emphasized it a lot. You know, we're, we're really doing good with COVID up to this point as it relates to our team relative to other teams. But, uh, you know, there was a failing there, and uh, that's disappointing. Hey, Vic, um, after such a failing like this, what is your message to your team going forward now? Well, going forward, you know, I just addressed tonight's game with them. You know, I thought, I mean, I have a lot of love and respect for our players. They, they're competitors, they're fighters, and they did that tonight, you know, this afternoon all the way to the end under some extreme circumstances that have never been seen before. And they went out there and competed. I know the score is what it, what it is, but our guys competed. They played hard. They played physical. And um, – and I love them and respect them even more. Vic, do you, do you think the game should have been moved? I'm not going to get into that, Jeff. You know, that's more on the league level. Maybe something for Joe or John to address. You know, I'm not going to go there. And then uh, what would you say about the position Kendall Hinton found himself in and, and how he did with the last 24 hours? Well, he did everything he could. He, he was excited for the opportunity. You know, we had about a two, three, four hour window there to get him wet and ready, you know, which isn't a lot, obviously. And um, he was excited for it. We were excited for him. His teammates were excited for him. But that's a big, big ask. And, um, you know, it just didn't work out. You've talked a lot about improvising and adjusting this year. What does a coach like yourself tell your team before this game when they're put in a position that, from my view, they have very little chance to win? Well, you know, our guys actually kind of accepted the challenge as big as it was, and um, our guys were ready to play. I mean, that's the only thing, you know, that I was um, – thing you know, we got to get them ready to play and go out and compete in all three phases and we did that so that part of it I was pleased with obviously the result is not pleasing and um, for our quarterbacks to put us in this position was disappointing and um, disappointing that I didn't do a good enough job selling them on the importance of the protocols as you understand it coach what did the quarterbacks do wrong on uh, Tuesday of this past week, you know, the players were off, and um, but they came in as a group to do work on their own, which is commendable. They got together and were watching video, and um, they got lax with their mask, I guess, and got lax with their distancing from each other, I guess. There's time for a few more to go there, Dwayne. Yeah, Vic, just wondering uh, how you came to the decision to start Kendall Bear to have him be the quarterback and what other options you considered at that position. Well, those were the options. You saw him, you know, wildcat every play. Um, Kendall, you know, has some experience playing quarterback in college. So, you know, that's about what our choices were. Final two, Brandon and Lindsey. Go ahead, Brandon. Coach, uh, with the league mandating the next couple of days off, how do you kind of regroup from this, or do you just move on and you know institute twenty-four hour rule and that's that? Yeah, we got to find out the status of our quarterbacks. Obviously, that that's going to be important moving forward, and um, hopefully they will keep 
passing their test that they're going through every day and they will stay negative. And I think if they do that, um, they'll be ready to be allowed back in on Tuesday. Hi, Vic, I know you just mentioned that it felt like Wildcat was kind of your, your only option, but what were those meetings like going back into yesterday, last night, and even this morning between Coach Shula, Coach Shermer, um, and Kendall and Phil Lindsay to try to get this game plan together? Well, it was hectic, as you can imagine. Um, we didn't find out officially till uh, well after practice yesterday. And uh, we had a few hours there to put something together to install in a meeting last night with the players. And like you said, to review again today with the players. You know, it was a big ask by everyone. I commend our offensive coaches for their efforts. They tried hard. They were believing. They had the players believing it could work. But uh, in the final analysis, it was just too big of an ask.